So we're going to be installing a four set of rock lights from SunPie, uh, just a cheap Amazon brand. The, uh, I think they're 30, 40 bucks. Here's the lights. Here is the controller it comes with. I'm gonna use the Bluetooth. And here is the uh, Bluetooth controller. All right, so the first one is through. All you have to do is go through that little piece right there. So if you have a fish tape, just run it through and there she is. Now I did have to take this one screw out because what will happen is I'll take this and run it behind there. And now you just run it to the front of the truck, but that's it. Okay, so don't make the same mistake I made. So I put it up there and it was tilted a little bit because of the wire. So the best way, the best way I've seen to do this is to kind of fold it in there and then push it together. And there's this little place where it comes out. Now it will sit flat. So just had to redo this. So let me get this back up and we'll check it. All right, so the first one is installed. So I did use that little rubber piece right here and it makes it flush. So it's able to come out this little groove right there. Um, and it is pretty level. Okay, so there is the rock light. And right there behind the fender oil liner is where we come out and then I ran it. There was this little place where I could tie wrap right there. And then I stayed as tight as I could. Luckily, my uh, infab steps have these perfect little holes to attach to. So I literally just ran it down there. Tie wrap there. So there. Went behind that. There's another little hole right there. Attached to the body right there. Okay, and then another place. Um, there's not a ton of places under here to attach to, so I'm glad these steps had these uh, little holes to attach it to. So once I got up to the front, I ran it behind here. And then I shined a light up in the front. This is the front fender liner. So peel that back a little bit, shine the light up there. You can see where the wire, I ran it up. Then I was able to take fish tape or uh, uh, yeah, not tape, but little pole here. Ran it down straight into there where the light was. So you can see where the wire comes out. We have got the first one ran and that was the, uh, the passenger side rear tire. So it is installed. Just got to, uh, I'll, I'll make it all nice, but I'm gonna continue on with the other ones. Okay, so we have finished the front. Um, so there it is. I use this little cutout, I guess you could call it. It kind of, it's like a groove. So it, it kind of fit nicely in there. I did not use the rubber piece. So um, it's pretty centered. So I want it to kind of shine straight down. So that's the best spot I could really find on there. Um, so I ran it, there was a little cut here right here where it could run the wire. I did have to take this off and I had to take this, or excuse me, this one um, in order to fold that out straight up the fender rail right there. Very easy to get to. So we will continue on to the driver's side front. Okay, we have got the front driver's side installed as well. Um, so that one was pretty easy but be very careful when you're screwing or, or uh, drilling holes, your uh, windshield, windshield washer fluid tanks right here. So it's it, right over that fender well. So be really careful not to put a hole in your windshield wiper fluid container. Um, now this one, I went ahead and did this one as well. I ran this one, the back one, installed it, used the rubber bushing on this one as well. Um, did my uh, fish tape to here, unscrewed that, went this way, down through here. Same thing, I was able to tie wrap right there. 
I br uh, brought the wire right from there to there. And then I used my step again. This is the hardest spot that I had to fish the wire through. So I went down underneath here and had to run a fish tape through the front fender liner and bring it up through here. So, but it was tough. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff on this side. So, cause I wanted to bring both wires right here, right up through here. So I'm about to finish. Um, I'm going to use this wire for the front to fish the other one uh, through here. And then I'll probably run them along here. All right, guys, we are all finished up here. I have uh, taken these cables from this side, the driver's side, and uh, wire tied them all the way over. And that extension cable that you had to buy for the uh, back driver's side, it reached right to here. So like it is just, you have to have that extension and it just reaches if you go that path. So I went from the back to the front and then across the grill, or excuse me, across the cowl. So um, here's your controller. I just mounted it with some uh, zip ties. Um, this battery thing is crazy. Uh, here, I'll show you, show you where I hooked it to. Um, so take that loose. I ran the positive here. And then the negative right there. I've got this. These are the other four connections. And I just, I kind of wire tied them and just left them there. I think they'll be fine right there. All right, guys, it's nighttime now. So let's uh, check them out. So that's just a slow fade. Um, here's white. Here's blue. Here is red. And here's green. So pretty happy with it. Uh, seems pretty bright. It's not pitch black here yet, but it's got a lot of light. This remote's pretty cool too. I'm just sw sitting here switching it with this. So blue. White, and it's got a lot of different other colors. I'll show you the other side real quick too. They seem to be lighting up as well. That's good. Change the colors. This remote actually has pretty good range too. So it looks pretty cool. So if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe.